In this video, I'm going to show you how we can take files shared to us via Dropbox and import those right here into a GarageBand project. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. So if that sounds like your kind of jam, then consider subscribing. In this one though, we're going to explore something a bit different. What if you want to collaborate with another user that might be using GarageBand or maybe they're using a completely different digital audio workstation and they've sent you some audio files via Dropbox. Even more complicated, let's say that they zipped those files and you want to bring them into GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad. Well, you can do it with all free tools. And in this one, I'm going to show you how. So let's dive in right now. Now, we're going to have some fun with this one because the artist whose tracks we'll be importing into GarageBand happens to be the one and only Mr. Joe Gilder from Home Studio Corner. So Joe is running a challenge at the moment where he is allowing his viewers to actually mix the acoustic guitar of one of his songs. So I thought what better way to show you this than to actually import some of Joe's tracks into GarageBand. So let's jump in and show you how right now. Oh, and the actual video is this one right here, which is linked up the top there and down in the description. So if you want to play along at home, jump over to Joe's channel right now and you can download these files and do this process along with me. The first thing you will need is a Dropbox account and the Dropbox app. Now, if you don't have a Dropbox account, just go to dropbox.com or download the app and sign up for Dropbox. Once you have that, just open the app here and you'll be jumped straight into your files section. So we can come in here, we can see all of the files that I have, all the folders that I have here in Dropbox. And what I can do now is actually go over to the link that Joe's provided and then I'll be able to add these files into my Dropbox. Let's do that now. Let's jump back into Joe's video here. We're going to go to his description and we're going to tap on the link here to go into his Dropbox link where he has saved these files. What's it's, what it's going to do is open it up here in your default browser. So for me, it's Google Chrome. And now at this point, it gets a little bit tricky. So follow this one closely as we do it. We're going to tap at the bottom here and we're going to go continue to website. We don't want to go get the app yet because we need to do something else first. Otherwise, it won't work because it's a zip file. So we'll tap on continue to website. And here we go. We've now got the file. File there. Now don't jump straight in or don't try and do anything with it yet, but up in the top right, you'll notice that we've got the three little dots, the ellipses, not the very top one on the browser, but the one below. We're going to tap on that one and down the bottom here, we can direct download, we can save to my Dropbox. What we're going to do is tap save to my Dropbox, like so. It's going to now pop up and ask us to log in. So if you haven't already logged in using the browser, you'll need to log into your Dropbox account. So I'm going to do that now and then we'll jump to the next step. Now, what it's actually done is it's logged me in here, but it's forgotten the link. So I'm actually just going to X out of that link. I'm going to come back here to YouTube, and I thought I'd show you this part in case the same thing happens to you. We're going to tap the Dropbox link again, and it's going to reopen Google and drop us into Dropbox here. And this time again, we're going to continue to website as we did before. And now, because I'm logged in, it actually knows where it can save this. So we'll do the same thing again in the top right corner. We'll tap the three dots there. This time, we can save it to my Dropbox, and here we go. Save it to add my Dropbox box? Yes, please. We're going to tap on save. And now that is actually going to save that in to my Dropbox, save into my Dropbox and it is done. So there it is now. We can see it's there. It's okay. Challenge.zip is in my Dropbox and ready to go. So let's show you the next step here because as you saw there, Dropbox and Zip and iOS, they don't play nicely. So we need another free app called Documents by Riaddle, which we'll show you how to get right now. Back over to the App Store, and we're going to type in Readle, R-E-A-D-D-L-E, -E, and hit the search button. And this is going to bring up our documents by Readle. You can see it there, or Readle. I actually don't know how to pronounce that. Um, there it is. You can see it's a very highly rated app because it's free, and it's an amazing document browser and manager for iOS. So get that one if you haven't already got it, and then tap the Open button because we're going to want to use this to manage these zip files that we have here in Dropbox. So here we go. We're in there. We're good to go. We'll do later there because we've used this one before. So now that we have that ready to go, we've got Readlins documents installed. We've got it in our Dropbox. Now what we need to do is unzip these files and put them somewhere to be able to import them into GarageBand. Now, there's a bunch of different ways to handle this, but the way I like to do it is this, and I find it the simplest. So we're going to go into our Files app now. So if we just swipe down and we're going to type in Files, and there it is at the top there. We're going to tap on the Files application, and here we are in our Files. Now, what we can do, if you don't already have your Dropbox uh, as one of your locations here, we can actually tap Locations, like so, 
and we can edit up the top here. And now we can actually add it in. So you can see the bottom there. I don't have Dropbox. If I tap that one, now I've got it added here. I can hit done. And now I can access my Dropbox directly from within the Files app within iOS, which is great for most file types, not great for zip. So let's show you what we do. We're going to tap on Dropbox. It's going to log me into my Dropbox and we'll be able to see all of these items here. So let's find the It's OK Challenge, which is that very top one. And the first thing we need to do is actually download it because adding it to your Dropbox doesn't actually download it to your device, it just puts it into the cloud. So I'm going to tap the download button to the right up here. I tapped on the wrong button there. So I've tapped on the little cloud icon to download this one and there you go, it's downloading and the progress bar will spin until it's ready to go. Once it's downloaded, I'll show you the next step, which is super simple. So that is downloaded now. All we need to do now is actually tap right here on the file and what it will do, it'll actually open up. So when Documents is installed, it becomes your default zip and unzip program. So with a zip file here, it's open in Documents. I'm gonna tap the extract button in the top right corner and now it's extracting those WAV files. And here we go. We've got this folder here, the It's OK Challenge folder. Let's tap on that one and here are our files. Now, what Joe's done here is he's got three files, three WAV files. We've got the Acoustic Mixed, which is his acoustic guitar that has he is actually already mixed. We've got Acoustic Raw, which is a raw version of that same acoustic guitar. And then we've got It's OK with no AG, no acoustic guitar. So what we can do here is bring in the rest of the track and then we can actually add in the mixed or the raw acoustic guitar so we can try and learn how we can mix in our acoustic guitar. So this is all very cool. So what we're going to do now is jump over to GarageBand and I'll show you how we can import these now into GarageBand. So we're in GarageBand, we're going to tap on the Create Document button here and go into a new track. We'll just tap Audio Recorder. We don't actually need to use this, but we just need to go to this section so we can tap our track view and go to a blank empty track here. We're now going to tap on our icon up the top right here, our Apple Loops or our Loops icon, which is the third from the top right. And what that's going to do is jump here into our Loops or our File Browser. So we don't want Loops this time, we want to tap on Files, the one next to it. Now to bring these in, down the bottom here, we've got these browse items from the files app. We're gonna tap on that big blue button there. And now we can actually navigate over to documents. Now, if you don't have documents as part of your locations here, just tap edit, and then you'll be able to add in documents in right here. But we have it, so we're gonna tap done. Now we're gonna tap on documents, and here it is, the It's OK Challenge. So we'll tap on that folder, and here are our WAV files. Let's firstly bring in the rest of the track here without the acoustic guitar, so we'll tap this third file here. What it's going to do now is it's going to bring that across, copy it across into our GarageBand file transfer folder. We now just need to tap and hold and drag this over onto a blank track and release. And there we go. There's our audio file. But you know what? We've got a problem. We've got a problem here. And that's something that we should have done first is that we didn't make sure we had enough space for this. So let's tap undo. What we need to do first, we need to tap the plus button right over here on the right because... GarageBand by default has eight bars. We need to tap on this section A. We need to make this automatic. And now we can actually go back and do that again. So let's tap the loops. I definitely did that on purpose to show you what you could do wrong. Definitely didn't forget. Let's tap and drag it across now. Pop it in a new track. And here it is. And now we can zoom in just by pinching in. And here is the entire Joe Gilder track of It's OK without the acoustic guitar. So let's just randomly go to a spot over here. We'll turn the metronome off because it won't be on the grid. If you did want to put it on the grid, you need to know the BPM. And I don't actually know that for this song. And because we're just mixing it, we're not adding any instruments. It won't be a problem. So let's hit play now. Very cool. So that's that's the track. That's the track without the main acoustic guitar. So what we can do now, we'll repeat this process for our other tracks. So we're going to tap on the loop icon in the top right corner. We're going to tap browse items from the files app. We're right here again. Let's bring in the raw acoustic guitar. So this is just Joe's guitar that he recorded without any of the effects, the processing and the automation, the compression, anything at all. So we're going to tap and drag this raw track and pop it on the track below, making sure that it lines up so it's right at the start of the track. There it is, there's our raw guitar. And let's go to our loop again. And this time we're gonna do browse again. And this time we'll bring in our mixed acoustic track. 
And again, it's going to download, well not download, it's going to transfer it across here into GarageBand. We can now actually tap and hold, drag that sucker over here in and let it go. And there we go, we've got all of these together. If we slide out from the left here, we can now actually work out what we do here. So let's solo in the original track without the acoustic and our mix track. And this will be basically the released version because what Joe did is he stripped out the acoustic guitar and it rendered that one out and then he just rendered out the mixed acoustic guitar. So if we play these together here, let's just go to a section here. And all you see is terror, so you isolate. Very cool. This is one of my favorite Go Joe Gilder tracks, by the way. Uh, and But what we can do is we can actually switch that out. Let's, uh, let's take that one out of the mix and let's bring in our, un, our, our raw guitar, our unmixed guitar. Let's play this. What if all that and again, we can just solo. So let's just listen to just the raw guitar. There it is. And let's bring in the mixed guitar here. So you can hear there's some processing on there. So Joe's done some EQ, probably some compression, maybe some reverb, maybe even some delay on there. That's what we need to work on because the whole point of this, this challenge that Joe's put out there is that we can now grab this, we can solo these in here and we can try and mix this acoustic guitar and see how we would mix it. Would we mix it the same way? And then we can go back and check by bringing in the other guitar and seeing did we mix it the same way? Did we get the same end up sound? Did we get a different sound? That's okay too. But this is a cool way to actually learn more about mixing, to learn more about mixing acoustic guitars. And I am pretty enthused to do this. So if you'd like to see follow-up videos, I'm going to be doing this. If you want to see those in videos, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure that I release those as well. I'm, I'm sure uh, Joe won't mind me using the track here. And uh, of course, head on over to homestudiocorner.com, head to Joe Gilder's uh, YouTube channel. Links will be in the description as as well so that you can check all of that out now right now i'm off to go and do some mixing there you go how simple is it to manage our file sharing right here in ios now that you know how to do it why don't you join in the mixing challenge as well click the video right down there right there and you head over to home studio corner and you can check out the video and join in the challenge thanks for watching and i'll see you next time